Welcome to part 2 of the VW Tesla Combi Conversion Project video series. We're going to show you where we were up to in the restoration of the 73 VW Combi and we're going to show you how we took the Tesla parts out of the wrecked Tesla Model X and what the plans and goals are for this conversion and restoration. In part one we talked about how we arrived at this particular 73 VW bus as being the right candidate for a Tesla conversion. Check it out here. So picking up where we left off last time, we have our 2018 Tesla Model X write-off which is being stripped down at Traction EV here. We are removing the full battery pack from underneath the car and we're removing the front and rear motors to be repurposed into classic car conversions. All that's left after we remove all that good stuff is this empty shell. Here you see the rear motor in its cradle and the full battery pack and the front motor and all the harness. We're using the rear motor for the combi. The front motor is going into a Suzuki Swift drag car by Graham at Oz DIY Electric. Here we're putting the Tesla small drive unit into position so a custom made motor mount can be designed and fabricated which uses the original mounting positions of the VW trans axle. Two battery boxes will be fitted in this old engine bay, or should we say the electron bay, one above the motor in the old petrol tank space and one behind where the old engine was, and another under the belly of the combi. So with the dry fit complete of the major electric vehicle components, the motor and the battery boxes, it's off to take the shell to Van Zelt Restorations for a full restoration. See the link below for a video by Greg at Van Zelt Restorations about all the bodywork and paint prep that went into this combi. It was in very good shape, no major welding required thanks to an unfinished restoration by a previous owner. So straight to epoxy and filler, primer, three coats of primer surfacer and then into colour choices which is always hard for a restoration. What we've gone for is a retro two-tone with a nice creamy white interior and roof matched to a bright and bold aqua blue to give it that nice mix of modern and vintage flavours. We also closed in the old spare wheel well just to give us a bit more space for components in the electron bay. One of the big goals for this combi project is to make it fit for the next generation. So everything on this bus will be either brand new or be fully restored to better than new condition. So the finished product will be ready to enjoy for another generation. By installing a single speed Tesla drive unit, we do away with the complicated, noisy and unreliable VW drivetrain and make it simple and powerful to drive. Every piece of glass on this combi is brand new. The Tesla drive unit has been bench tested with an aftermarket controller board. A little bit of custom fab work was required by Greg to fit the older retro rounder bumpers to this combi. I had to hunt down another original steering box which has been refurbished here in black since the original was toast. One of the big goals of this project is to pull off a successful full Tesla swap. The Cortina just uses repurposed Tesla batteries as do a lot of other EV conversions but not many can pull off a full Tesla swap. This means using the motor ped with the full battery pack from a Tesla, which can be hard to do without the right vehicle to house everything. Another goal is to share the thrill by creating a VW bus that is superior to the original in many ways, and yet is simple and fulfilling to drive, so that maybe others want to experience that as well. Some of the technical goals of this conversion are to have a long range. 
Combis are designed to enjoy the open road, so having a long range is essential. We're using a 75 kilowatt hour Tesla battery pack to give a target range of over 300 kilometers. We're also aiming for faster charging. Following on from the trail we forged with the DC fast charging capability of the Mark 1 Cortina, this time we will be able to harness the higher voltage of the Tesla system to enable even faster charging with more options for public charger compatibility. We're aiming to have a lot of modern creature comforts hidden within the retro aesthetic, such as fully functioning air conditioning, front and rear, car play, reversing cameras, etc. So it will be a very comfortable ride. The interiors of combis are very versatile, so we're aiming for no loss of functionality by carefully designing and utilising all the available space after the ice parts are removed from the underside and the engine bay, the transition to electric power will result in no loss of interior space at all. That means that the interior fit out options are only limited to the imagination of what can be done with the vast space inside a VW bus. And ultimately, we want a safe and strong conversion. We're going to do everything we can to make sure this is a professional finish and to ensure that this VW will look like it rolled out of the factory with all this 21st century technology hiding underneath and in the tailgate. But it'll also be fully reversible if at some stage in the future someone wants to convert it back. We're not going to be messing with the structural integrity of the combi in any way. So that's it for this part two update. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit like and subscribe. If you want to support us, we have these some cool t-shirts for sale, just 25 bucks at chargedgarage.com, even some button up work shirts. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe. Cheers, see you next time.